Here's a real short proof by contradiction. Um, trying to think about something that's a, a little more um, real world applicable, perhaps, a little more obviously relevant in a simple situation. So uh, if the five players on a basketball team, so there's no bench, just exactly five players on this basketball team, if they together score 100 points or more, then at least one player scored at least 20 points. Hopefully that's pretty clear. That's sort of intuitive. But if you wanted to justify it really precisely, it's similar to the previous one uh, because what we're trying to show is this thing that has a bunch of cases. We're not trying to show that player A uh, scored at least scored at least 20 points because it might not be true. We're not trying to prove the player B scored that or any one particular player. So it's a little bit slippery what we want to show, but its negation, once again, is very specific. What's the negation of at least one player that at least one really cries out to think about the negation of that statement because the negation of at least one player did something is none of them did that. Okay, And there's a nice way to negate this. So what we're going to assume is that all five players scored uh, fewer than 20. Now, the, the at least is 20 inclusive, and fewer than does not include 20. OK. Then it's pretty clear that if all five players scored fewer than 20 points, then you're not going to make 100 points. OK. In fact, you're really only going to make 95 at most. OK. Um, if we wanted to make this more in terms of look like a number theory proof, we would say, OK, let's look at A as the score by the first play, by just line them up in a, in a line, say A is the number of points scored by the first player, A is less than 20, B, similarly as the second player, less than 20, C less than 20, D less than 20, E less than 20, and just add all those inequalities up, which we can do, is less than 100. Okay. And that's our contradiction, a little contradiction symbol, because we are assuming that the sum of all those things was 100 points or more. So there's our contradiction. Hence, this was false, and we go to its negation, back to the original statement, at least one player scored, um, yeah, at least 20 points. And there's our box. Okay. So I, I like this not because you need, absolutely need, this kind of method of proof to convince somebody of this, but um, really, in, I think in your mind, you're probably doing something like this subconsciously to verify this kind of statement. And if it gets any more complicated than this, it really can be kind of unclear until you, unless you really break out the logic carefully. And this breaks out the logic extremely carefully. Um, by taking, by going to proof by contradiction, we've actually got a very positive concrete statement here where we can say definite things about definite quantities and get a result. And then that proves what we want to show, which was something with a lot of at least and ors implied in the statement. Okay.